Hey, Bob. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, buddy. Is that good? There's some eels. Might be taking some of those home. I really wanted to get a panther group. That would look dope in the pond. Oh no way. <laughs> is he poking his head out? Yeah, look at that. They said they'll just give them to me, which is awesome. Extra color and a little different shape of fish inside the pond. Today's video is sponsored by DraftKings. I know it might be cooling off outside, but the action on the field stays hot. DraftKings is an official partner of the NFL. Now to get close into all this action, right now all new customers bet just $5. That is simply betting $5 and you will get $150 in bonus bets instantly. Now if you've already signed up with DraftKings like me, you can get a no sweat bet. Get a bonus bet back if your same game parlay doesn't hit. Max reward limit supply. If you like multiple teams, can bet all that into one big bet for a bigger payout. And if sports betting is not available in your state, don't worry. You could still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Fantasy Sports. Now go download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. The link is down below and use my code, Paul Cafaro. Bet just $5 and you'll get $150 in bonus bets. That is promo code Paul Cafaro. Link is down below only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Without further ado, let's get back into the video. I have got a wheelbarrow full of pumpkins. Some people bring them to my house because they know I've got the pigs and after Halloween, what's the use of any pumpkins other than to feed them to my pigs. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video. Yes, we're gonna start it off by throwing a couple pumpkins to the animals, but of course we have some really cool things to get done today, as you read by the title and thumbnail. We're back at the PC farm, thank goodness. As much as Hawaii was a blast, I've been traveling a lot this month and I'm just ready to be home to say the very least. I'm gonna try to burst this one. Oh, that didn't do a single thing. Oh yeah, buddy. Is that good? <laughs> they love pumpkin. This one I could just tell is gonna be an easy one to break. Oh! And they just go to town. I mean, they love it so much. I had put in the description an Amazon wish list. Didn't even know it was a thing till recently, um, but I just was like, hey, I'll throw some stuff that I need for the farm on there, and if people see the description and want to get some stuff to help out with the farm, cool. If not, no worries. That's why I never even mentioned anything. But of course, some Yucca Pharaohs saw the link and ended up getting me some stuff, so I just want to give a big shout out to the few that have. This is what Rebecca got, the goat treats right here. Thank you so much for the first ever Amazon wish list items delivered to my house. I know the animals will thank you as well. Let's give them some treats. Hey, Bob. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and I know the little pig treats. They smell so good. Here you go, buddy. Blueberry. Oh, yeah. Here you go, everyone. Quite the diet here. Pumpkins and pig treats. Get it, Lulu. Thank you so much for the gift. The animals love it. And this is another box I just got today in the mail from uh, from from Brandon, huge fan of the channel. Thanks, Brandon. He helped out with some turtle food and uh, salt rock for the goats, and of course some mealworms. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Yeah, let me show you guys the saltwater pond. I love this thing so much. I think I finally found my niche here on YouTube. It might have taken seven years, but. I found out what I love so much to film and what you guys clearly love most to watch. And that is making ponds, so building process of building these ponds. And then of course going and getting fish for them. This project has done really well for me in the channel and I loved making it so much. So I've came to conclusion, this side I don't use much at all. I mean the Mata Mata and stuff is over here but we'll figure out what to do. I wanna make this corner, since we're only limited to so much space in this building, I'm gonna turn this corner into a big pond. From here, all of this, is gonna be a pond. I think I'm gonna make it tall with a big window. I just wanted to let you guys know that's gonna be in the next project I think we're gonna work on. And I might even take the fish from there, put them in here, and then make the circular pond a big shark pond. I, am I just talking nonsense? I don't know. My brain is rambling, but I really wanna do some more projects in here. I find it so much fun, and I know you guys love watching them, so let me know what you guys think. If you wanna see more pond projects, smash that like button. Let me give you an update on the saltwater pond. We're growing algae in here, but all the fish are doing so, so well. You see the monos over there, all of our tangs and angelfish that we got, the wrasse, and in the back, there's the pajamas, and a lot of the clowns are out now actually swimming around. 
One of the things we're doing today is getting structure. It's a little dead space. I saw a lot of comments saying, Paul, get structure. They need more structure. They need more structure. So I'm going to take your word for it. I'm going to get some more structure and hopefully that'll pull a lot of these clownfish out that hide back here. You'll see a lot of the clowns are actually out roaming around now. You see one's right up there. There's a couple down there in the back over there. Come on, focus camera. There's a lot in the back over there. And then of course more over there and, and even down here. But there's they're swimming all over the pond now. It's just hard to see on camera. I think when I do put a structure over this side, we'll see a lot more of them come out more. But you can see the anemones are actually doing good too. There's one there and a lot of them are up in that pot. Just wanted to give you guys an update on that. I do have four lights, four radions that were sent to me from Ecotech Marine. I gotta hang those up. I just haven't been home, but those are all gonna be hung up and that'll allow us to have a lot more anemones coming out to the middle of the pond and stay, instead of staying high up in the pot over there, to try to get all the light they can from that one. Once I get the lights in, they'll all be out and about. Um, obviously more structure and I plan to get some artificial coral just to give it a bit of more of a reef vibe. But this pond is honestly just getting started. We're only a couple months in, of course. Today's video, we're actually gonna get a little bit of a small school of fish. So I've wanted to do like a smaller school, similar to the clowns, about that size, maybe a little bigger. I don't know what I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna go to Top Shelf. I know they have a big selection. And we're gonna get a school of about 20 fish probably to just add to the motion in this pond. It's really cool to have a big, big pond because we have a lot of space. And as you can see, if we have a little school of fish swimming around like mid-water column, I feel like it would look really good. So that's what today's video is on. It is on the saltwater pond. I was gonna actually go today, but it's Black Friday and there would just be too many people in that store. It'd be hard to film. So I'm gonna wait for tomorrow. I'm gonna pick up the camera then. And we're gonna hit the road two hours and 30 minutes to go get some fish for the saltwater pond. It is the next day, and just like that, we're here two and a half hours away at Top Shelf Aquatics, one of the best spots in the game. Honestly, best spot in the game for saltwater stuff, for sure. And obviously, we're here to get some fish. What's up, brother? Here, What's give up? me a high five, friend. So it's the day after Black Friday, so this place just got smacked over the weekend, but I have some stuff saved for me. They've still got some deals rolling over here. What's up, Jed? It's good to see you, boss man. How you been? Look at my little squirrel. Yeah, dude, it's in still here. here. There is my fish. Right there. So that little fish was the one that was eating some of the clowns that we had to take out. And it's actually on their website. I don't know if any of you are interested in getting that. And they've now listed it on the website under, actually under my name, Paul Caferro's Fish. I'm surprised you guys still have so many fish left. I mean, you should have seen the system beforehand. It was, it was loaded down? Loaded. There was probably 15 fish per chamber. It's nuts. Was it really? It was nuts. Was it packed? Dude, it was packed today. Look at these monos. Did you see what's missing from that day? Yeah, the emperor's gone. I just gave it away. Really? Yeah, I, I, it got to the point where I didn't think anyone would take it. So I think a guy actually bought it, or I guess took it for his buddy. <laughs> it's just, gone. It just put it in his tank. Very so fortunate. unfortunate. Very fortunate. fortunate. I'm so happy that fish is gone. <laughs> Dude, that is that is a crazy looking fish. Hold on, zoom out and see if they can see with the sponge. It like blends in with the sponge. It does. It literally blends right in. You can't tell if there's one right next to it. Where? Uh, that's one right there too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what are those called? Those are rhinopias. Rhinopias? Yeah. There's some eels. Might be taking some of those home. I really wanted to get a panther grouper. Unfortunately, he would take out our clownfish population pretty quickly. Got to be one of the coolest fish. Yeah, no, they get huge quick. So while we were looking to see what we're going to get for the pond fish-wise, I turned around, I saw up top here, there's some artificial coral. So I said, uh, Is, are those for sale? And they said, they've been sitting there for years. I was actually planning to go online and buy some artificial coral just like that. No need now. They said they'll just give them to me, which is awesome. So big shout out to Top Shelf. We got some artificial coral to take home and we'll probably install that, whether it's in this video or the next video, whenever we do the structure. Oh yeah, that is awesome. This is my favorite one, the green. Look at that little green one. That's perfect. And this blue one. I love that. Now you're taking all. And all then right, this one. I'm just okay. kidding. <laughs> it would look dope in the pond. It all looks. Right, take it, take it. <laughs> what about this red one? I'm just kidding. It's kind of heavy. A bunch of coral. Artificial. But still so cool. It'll give a lot of. A lot of life to the pond, that's for sure. I'm so excited to glue all those. Now back to the fish. I don't know what we're gonna get. I'm kind of bouncing between a couple options here. So we're gonna do kind of a theme time. All okay. all gold, but mostly all gold. <laughs> These are yellow chorus wrasses. A lot of reef tank keepers keep them, um, but they're on the cheaper side, so it's a good addition to most people's fish tanks. So they're not spending a lot of money, but then they have a utilitarian purpose as well. Not only those we're getting though, we're gonna go over here. So yeah, these are captive bread. It's actually a really good size fish for 
captive bred fish, most of the time when fish are captive bred, they come in really tiny. But these guys, perfect size. They're not like a schooling fish, but they can live together, so you'll add a lot of movement. Every once in a while, they'll kind of group up together, but for the most part, it'll be a lot of random, again, more random gold in the tank. And I like that sign behind you. What sign? <laughs> They hide in the sands. We have no idea how many are in here. Oh, oh, oh there's another one. <laughs> That's funny. So you're saying the first probably week or so, I probably won't even see these things in my pond. It's very possible. It could be possible they come out the first day, but I know a customer who bought one. It went into his sand and he started, he called the store. Man, that fish died. Like I haven't seen it in three weeks. I definitely need to get a new one. I was like, I'll replace it for you. He sends me a photo a week later. He has two swimming around his tank. So he was hiding in the sand for the a sand. month. Yeah, for the whole time it was in the sand. But yeah, so it's That's possible you hilarious. could never see these. You could do an update and the tank will be empty and then you'll do three videos later and they finally and all the out. yellow rafts will be yeah. out. So if you don't see them, um, don't be afraid oh, that there's they- another one. There's another one. <laughs> Dude, it just popped out of the sand. They're really, 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 really pretty. Yellow. Yeah, like they're so yellow. When they get big too, so again, they'll have- How big do they get again? They get about seven inches, but the male- That's a solid fish right there. They'll get nice and beefy. Yeah, but that's awesome. But they also have green and red striping in their face. It's pretty sick. Sweet. Let's see if there's one more. We've got five, five so far. Oh no way. <laughs> Is he poking his head out? Yeah, look at that. Wow, dude, that's crazy. That's sorry another for, one. Sorry for disturbing your nap, my guy. He was sleeping, dude. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, you definitely just woke him up because he's like, he is not even know what's going, what's going on. on. He's like, how did all you get in here? How did that just happen? There's no shot. There's another one. Oh my <laughs> gosh, dude. <laughs> I honestly didn't think there was that many in there. I thought there was maybe four or five in there. So we got six, and this is gonna be the seventh. Nope, I felt another one. No way. <laughs> Dude, that's eight of them. We thought there was four and there's eight. They're just hiding everywhere. Oh, well, he just went back in the sand. You can leave him. Beautiful. That's a nice chunky one. Nice. Look, look at them all in there. Those are gonna be awesome, dude. And I don't know how much we're gonna see them, of course, but we have them. They're in the pond and they are quite the fish to look at. Bright, bright yellow. You can really see the yellow under this light. Dude, they're so bright. It's crazy. When I put those in the pond, we'll see them swim, most likely bury themselves or swim around, but we still won't see them. That's how big the pond is. Even the big fish look small. When you first put those ones in, you sent me the photo, there was so much space still in there. I know, it's crazy. It's 4,000 gallons. Like, there's a lot of water. We got one bag of fish. Now we're going to go get the blennies. Yep. More gold, more gold. Look at that gold on their head, though. They're like neon. Yeah, it's like neon, gold, and blue. They actually have a little blue tint to them, too, in a way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Both the seven blennies and this bright yellow bag of wrasses. Look at that. I mean, that's just crazy how bright they are. My arm is shaking. Look, I was say, you're look my arm is shaking. It's because I, I haven't worked out in a little bit. <laughs> I need to get back in the gym, boys. Golly. Check it out. That is a good batch right there. We got not only these fish, but of course, we stole all the coral off the shell. There's not you much what? left. I left you a little bit. You what? <laughs> oh, fellas. The storm is a brewing. I got to get home. I got all these rats. I already put the coral in the car. I'll see you there. Why are you following me, dude? Get back. You dude. stole my coral! Yeah. We're back home, and I've got all the artificial coral that we picked up. This stuff is going to look absolutely insane inside the pond. Unfortunately, today we were going to actually, I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we were gonna get uh, structure, the rest of some more rocks to put over here, and we were gonna glue all this. We're gonna do this a different day, just because one, it's already like nine o'clock at night. I just got back from five hours straight of driving. I'm not getting in the pond right now. But that video is definitely coming, so make sure you subscribe. And one of the next videos, we'll do that. What we do have, though, is our two bags of rats right here and blennies right here. These are really, really cool, a small addition to the pond. They're gonna be fish that you see here and there, but it's really cool to have this extra color and a little different shape of fish inside the pond. All these fish, going to get acclimated. Just like that. We wait a little bit, and then we can just open these bags and right into the pond they go. Dude, it's so crazy, the pond. When feeding time comes out, there's so many of the clownfish come out. 
and all the fish are sitting right at the surface. Look at all these fish! First ones in are these beautiful blennies. I mean, the colors on their head. You'll actually see through the window here. I'm gonna pop it open and release them from up here. Ready? Ready, three, two, one. School up, buddies. They look sick. Mm -hmm. Look at them, bro. They're potted up right there. I can't wait to put structure there so that sand doesn't keep getting moved around. You can see our other rashes that uh, eat their parasites and stuff are coming out right there. All the ones we just put in, literally all seven of them are sitting in a pod right there and they look awesome. As we add fish, it's just becoming a little bit more filled in and it looks so, so good. Now, next is these, <coughs> next is these yellow wrasse, which are indeed yellow, I'll tell you that. They're probably gonna go straight to the sand and hide. They bury themselves in the sand, it's really cool. You guys saw it. There's a total of seven fish in here. I need you to go in the comments down below and name seven individual names for our wrasse. That'd be helpful. <laughs> and we're gonna open it up and dump them now. Oh my gosh, those look so, so good. Look, they all went right under this window into the sand. I, I can't even see more than two or three of them. Oh, there's two right, three of them right there. Oh, here they go. He's exploring. He's going for the mission. Those yellow wrasse are gonna be a lot harder to find than the blennies we just put in. Like all the blennies are right there. Right there, all seven blennies hanging out, chilling in the pond. One wrasse is over there with the clown and another wrasse is right here in front. So they're swimming around, but they'll be a little less visible because they're gonna take off and bury themselves in the sand like this guy over here. The rest of them are over there where we first released them. You can see them. It's hard to get stuff on footage. This glass is dirty. I gotta clean it already. But you can see. See that algae over there? We need to get snails. We need to get more snails. Mexican turbo snails. What a video. I feel like every time we get something for this, it just gets cooler and cooler. It's filled in. We just got done feeding them prior to putting uh, our wrasse into the pond. Rats and Blenny, sorry I forgot. But the new fish look awesome and I love making content on this pond. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys want to see me get for this. I think next video we're going to get an eel because I'm trying to make this thing just establish. I just want to establish it, you know? Also, of course, we need to put all of our artificial coral into the pond as well. That's going to come soon. Make sure, just subscribe down below, click the bell. You'll be notified when I upload these videos. Like this video, and I hope to see you right back here in the very next one where we, we do probably get an eel and some more stuff for the 4,000 gallon saltwater pond. Take one last look at this pond. We got the monos over there. We got the pajamas, some clownfish swimming around, which they, they go in and out of the rocks. You can see them all swimming around. All the tangs and angelfish just look so, so good. It's ridiculous in here. And look how much room there still is. There's still so much room. It's insane. Don't forget though, I also do want to get a shark. A shark. I bleeped it out again. You guys are gonna have to just see what I said. It's coming soon, I promise. And I also, like we mentioned earlier, want to make that a shark pond. I have so many thoughts. I'm falling in love with salt water, and uh, I really hope you guys are enjoying it. We'll see you right back here in the very next video. Peace out.